Good morning. This is September 10th and I just booked another online party. And so I thought I'd take the opportunity to walk you through my steps on how I get that set up. And I actually, um, um, if you've kind of been doing some online parties and you've been following along with me, you've seen pieces of this, but I'm going to show you kind of how I go about it to um, make it most um, efficient and to have to set up like multiple parties really quickly. So remember that we use a lot of copying and pasting and this is that. So I'm going to just kind of go about it. We had a gal named Shelly, of course, she's got such a good name, who just booked a party with me and I'm going to take you right from the beginning and walk you straight through. So let's see how this works. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen and get this out of the way. And here's how this how this worked. So I'm going to go to Justine's party, actually. Um, let's see, Justine. Uh, Justine mentioned me in one of the posts. Justine's party is going to close up tomorrow. So <clears throat> here it is. Uh, this is her party. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yesterday in Justine's party, 16 hours ago on post my party, it said, answer below. I've got my ticket roll ready. And there's this graphic with A, B, C, D, E, F. And Shelly commented, her name is Shelly Monroe, says, I'm going to be a C. Me next, I like too many things I'd like to host. And Justine, the host, has been tagging her friends on various things um, as I've asked her to. So she's doing great. And she goes, Shelly, Shelly Monroe was ready to book. And so the, I went over here to a message with Shelly. And here's how it went. I messaged her. I said, hey, Shelly. Happy to help you host an online party. Let's do it. I've got one opening left this Friday or not until the 27th. What sounds good. And basically you put out your next two available dates and they'll either say yes, no, or they'll ask questions. In this case, she asked a question. If it starts Friday, when would it end? It would wrap up next Wednesday night, the 18th. Here's how we run it. And I send her a little picture that shows here's what to expect. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. And as I'm going along, if there's any of these pieces that you want any of the tools or the pictures or the support pieces, or if you have any questions, shout out. So let's talk about it. Okay. So she, I go, how does that look? She goes, I was trying to type, um, okay, let's do it for this Friday to the 18th. So today's the 10th. I just booked a brand new party to start on the 13th. So yay. Um, okay. And then we, I tell her that we get started the Tuesday prior. That would be today. And she goes, yes. So whenever I book a brand new party, there are two first steps. And if you've been working with me, you know you're rattling these off because I repeat them all the time. First is you have them take your host VIP survey, which is a Google uh, form. And if you don't have that, let me know. So I said, hey, let's have you take my first um, take my VIP survey. And the second step is to have them look at a good party and tell you why you think they think it was a good and look at a bad party and tell you why they think it was bad. And guess what? Part of that is reinforcing for them that they want to have a good party. And part of it is um, um, making sure they know how to get in and out of a party and scroll through and do those kinds of things. So, and she said, I'll be sharing the link with her coworkers who are not on Facebook. I said, great. I offered a catalog. She said, well, catalog super. All right. So now I'm going to go over. And Shelly happened to have been the pre-party prize winner. So I already had a note started for her in Evernote. Whether you use Microsoft Word or a piece of paper, you're keeping track of your um, the specific details for people who want to book, who win prizes, who are interested in doing Pampered Chef. So here I just added this little notation for the 10th wants to host. So I go over to, let me see where there I need to go. Let's do that. Okay, so I go over here and I go into Consultants Corner. So we're going to go add that booking. Um, add that booking to um, Justine's party. Get all signed in. And I'll show you how I set it up. Sound good? Sign in. <clears throat> I've got allergies hitting this morning. So here's Justine's party. And her orders are um, not even coming in yet. So there you go. All right. So I think that Shelly is probably in my system. Let's see. 
Shelly Monroe, she might be. We may have to cross check this uh, address and everything. So when she fills out my host survey, I'll do that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get her set up. So you make a new party in the existing party. And it's Shelly's online party. It's not a cooking show. It's a catalog show. Yes, it's virtual. It starts on the 13th and it closes on 09-18-2019. And it's a virtual party and you create it. Okay, ready? Now follow along. I know you are. If you're watching this, you're following. Let's go to her party and now we're going to set it up. So here's Shelly Monroe and you click on edit. And if you can split your screen, if you have any sort of a PC, you split your screen and it looks like this. Pull this one over that way. Now, I'm not going to start from scratch. I am going to copy and paste from just from a previous party and her friend, Justine, is the one she booked from. So that works out great. So, um, all the way up here to the top. So here's Justine is a former consultant. And this is actually a list of all of her um, participants and who are interacting in her party. And I kept, I keep notes and so on everybody. So booked 913, there's Shelly. All right, then I have all of this verbiage that I'm gonna use in one way or another throughout the course of the party, whether it's setting it up on the personal website, whether it's setting it up on Facebook, all of this for Justine. And I'm gonna copy it all, and I'm gonna go over to Shelly's note, and I'm going to paste it. And remember, this is all of Justine's info. Justine, Justine's link, Justine's name, all in this stuff. But the way this works is kind of fun. So you do Control F to find and type in the current host's name. And it's going to highlight everywhere in all of this verbiage that it says Justine. And we know now the new host is not Justine. It is, in fact, Shelly. So everywhere it says Justine, I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace Justine's name with Shelly's. Okay. So as I type and talk at the same time, that probably is the most challenging part of this. And remember, Justine's party was from this last week, um, started the 6th and ends on the 11th. So all I do is change the 11th to the 18th. Type in Shelly's personal show site. Okay, so watch. I do this every single time. And this way I don't have to recreate the wheel. All right, and it ends at, and if you want to highlight these in here so you remember where they are, I've done this so many times that I know where they are. So you go over here and you're gonna make, you're gonna make the link for this party. So you click on links in the personal website and click edit. And when it sets up their ordering link, initially it just has gobbledygook here. You type in her name, it needs to be lowercase, L-M-U-N-R-O is gonna be her link and then I want a Facebook link as well. So I go over to Facebook and I go to my business page because you want to make um, online parties. You want to create them as groups from your business page. I need to update my banner because my online auction is over. And so you go there, you click on groups, you say create group. And you scroll up here and we know what the name of the party is now. Do we have it? I usually have it written in here. I don't think I grabbed that part. Okay, so, but it's going to be the same one as Justine's. I really do not like retyping everything. I like doing it, I'm copying and pasting. So it's gonna be Shelly's Fall Fun Online Only, Only Pampered Chef Party. Okay. All right, so I've created it. Now I'm going to edit that in a few minutes, but what I, the reason I wanted to create it at this point is to get the link so that I can continue to edit this. So um, my Facebook, of course, because I'm on Zoom and I'm recording, is locked up in just a second. So we'll get to that in a second. 
But in the meantime, I can click save. And here's your party page link. I can copy it and come back in here and replace everywhere it has Justine's link. I can put in Shelly's. Okay. And so I'm doing this entire thing on copy and paste. So if you have, um, I'm wondering what questions you have at this point. So I'm using Evernote because I'll have it accessible on my cell phone anytime that I need it. Um, it syncs automatically. I have allergies this morning are going up. So. Okay. Close that up. I want to scroll back over here. Her name is, okay. And so, so this is Shelly's party. And I'm going to not copy her party name. I'm going to copy the link, right? That's what it's asking for in this spot for the links. And I'm going to put this right here in where it says Facebook event and save it. And what that does is it makes a button inside of her um, invitation that will route directly into her party on Facebook. Actually kind of cool. I'm going to edit this. And now they have some fun new wonderful pictures for, um, for um, uh, blah, 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 the um, online invitations. Okay, I just copied the, um, for Shelly's party, I just copied her Facebook link for it, which is right there. And now I'm gonna go through and replace Justine's Facebook party link anywhere that it's listed in my verbiage. And I'm almost completely done with this and ready to use it to put it into all of the places it needs to go. Paste. Okay, so now this is right. It says, welcome to Shelly's Fall Party. It ends on the 18th at eight o'clock. Here's the Facebook party link and here's her exclusive ordering link. And then if you are not a director, you do need to change this as well because my orders as a director, they ship instantly to customers. Yours ship once the party closes. So just change this where it says order ship immediately, change it to order ship when the party closes. So I've got this section that I copied and pasted from Justine's party. And on Justine's, I set hers up on September 2nd, but today's September 10th for PWS, for personal website. This is copy that and come over here to where I'm setting up the party and paste it. And that is going to put this description on her invitation with in, um, a verbal, another um, link to the Facebook party and another, um, another place where they can click on her link to order. And I'm going to click save. Okay. I am also going to send Shelly an email. And believe it or not, this last little paragraph is what I added to the email. Click on email host. Thank you for hosting. And not a catalog show, but an online show. Now we use the terminology virtual show. And what I found is that if you switch that to say online, your bookings go nuts and you get a lot more interaction and response. Um, so do share my exclusive catalog. So this email is going to her show. I want to say, do share your exclusive online ordering link. Um, to my blog ordership immediately and change that right to your door note right to your friends and then there's your link so now this is an email that's going to the host and i just send it okay and yes i do have every single one of these um one of these steps in a checklist okay back to shelly's fall fun online party and here's where we set that part up we're going to upload a photo Close all of these. I'm going to upload a photo. We're going to go to my pictures. I'm going to do fall winter 19. I think I called it Anna. Yep, Brittany got this one for us. It's way cool. Save it and then I'll show you another little trick. Copy her link, click on the picture, add a description, and say click here to order and put in her link. So if people click on the um, banner, it'll say, click here to order. Kind of cool. Okay, and then here you go under edit, group settings, 
and you want to add the app if you're using Post My Party to um, automatically post into your online parties. This is where you connect Post My Party to each individual party that you now have made as a group in your um, from your business Facebook page. Okay? If this is sounding familiar, you're rocking online parties. If this is sounding like, oh my gosh, this is a ton of steps, you probably haven't gotten started yet. And so we get you started. Like I have um, Maggie and Peggy's um, first online parties are in progress right now. And they're seeing just kind of some of these steps, little bits and pieces. And then uh, um, as they see it a couple times, post my party, it'll start to kind of gel and you start to build your habits and build your systems. And we want a description in here on the Facebook part. So again, Facebook description. Nope, I've got the correct URL. I'm gonna to put today's date so I know what date that I entered it. I write everything down. If you guys are seeing an error, please let me know. Um, okay, so we added on this edit page, post my party and the description and click save. That's it. Go back up here to the top. There's a couple more steps under notifications. You as the consultant want to see all hope, all posts instead of just the highlights. So change your notifications and you want to take this description and you want to mark it as an announcement, which pins it up at the top of the page. Okay. So this page is actually ready for me to add my host to it. You typically would start that on the day that she starts inviting and that's Tuesday before the Friday start. Um, the rest of this verbiage is gonna be um, once on Friday, you're gonna do a we are live post and this will be ready for you to copy and paste that. It has all the instructions that you will include in this, um, in a post with pictures of how to change their notifications. Once you start um, welcoming people, um, you'll add this verbiage right here that says, you know, you'll click this button to say write post and it will tag the people right now that's just me um, who are newly accepted the invite to the invitation. You'll copy this verbiage and put this right under here and click and add a picture that says welcome. And you'll do that every time you get a couple new members of the, um, who um, add to the party. So all kinds of new welcome pictures. If you need some, let me know. So I'm not gonna post this right now, but that's how you would do it. And it will have an entire list of people here that um, are being tagged in the welcome message. And I'll show you one other little thing that I do. Here's Justine's back up to the top. So on the six, she had 20 people. And when I did this welcome post, I just copied and copied and pasted everybody who was brand new to the party into my note for her. So this is where I can do adding, adding details and adding um, notes about um, whether they want to book, whether they have questions about products, whether they're ordering. Okay. So if you have questions, let me know. I hope that was helpful. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and sign off and record it and share, keep this for uh, future reference. Thanks, everybody.